We had a lot of American television uh, in Australia, so um, Magnum PI was definitely my favourite. Thought no one can pull off a chest rug and a and a lip rug and a Ferrari Testarossa like that guy. I don't, I, I haven't really gone that way, but um, you know, maybe one day if I keep eating my cocoa pops or something, it'll start to sprout. I can be up there with the Tom Selleck. Uh, you know, I had a few, but one of them is being honoured tonight, Mike Connors, who is uh, I've, who's an old friend now. Um, for the last 10 or 15 years, and uh, I was I was always a big fan of his and of Mannix, and I'm just really happy to be here tonight when he's going to be here too and be be honored. Well, Charlie's Angels, of course. Everyone ran around in hot pants and a tube top with a 357. In Texas, they did. <laughs> no, um, you know it, it, it's interesting because it was I really did grow up with Wonder Woman and with um, with. Um, Charlie's Angels and so there was sort of that surreal kind of aspect to women fighting crime and then Cagney and Lacey came along and I remember watching a scene and they were in the car and I remember it came on too late for me to watch but I do remember seeing the scene and they were in the car and they weren't arguing but they were having this very intense discussion and I remember thinking these women are so strong and they're tough and I want to be like that when I grow up like it was their toughness. I didn't even know really what I was watching or what I was relating to, except it was their, their toughness and sort of what they were just portraying as women. And that really grabbed me, you know, and, and that's really sort of the, the first roles of, you know, women in a sort of police drama that I can remember. Yeah, I grew up in Germany. My TV cops were usually German. Uh, there, there's a guy who, whose name was Derek, and he was actually worldwide on the longest running show. This show ran for 60 years, if you believe it or not. 60 years. So that's a crazy record. Uh, other than that, I like Colombo. I liked Simon and Simon, which was one of my, if not the favorite. And I'm lucky enough to call Gerald McRaney, one of my castmates. He plays uh, Shaw on Undercovers, which to me is a treat. Uh, so Simon and Simon was definitely one of, the, one of my favorites. I can't say there were female cops that I like gravitated towards. I mean, I certainly thought Angie Dickinson was cool as policewoman. Um, I was a big fan of Mission Impossible when I was a kid, although that was not quite the same, but it was, I, I always used to think that our show was close, more closely resembled that show than, uh, than a straight ahead cop show because of all of our, the effects that we use and, and uh, the CSI shots, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, um, but um, I, I try to base my Character, uh, on, uh, somewhat on a, a, a real person that was that's uh, in the Las Vegas crime lab. I just spoke with her on the way over here, actually, Yolanda McCleary, because she's she's retiring now. She's retiring from the, from this job. Uh, uh, forty seven. She's she's forty seven years old, and she said, "I, you know, it's just uh, it's because it's it takes its toll. It's a hard job." And um, but she was today was her first day of retirement, and she says it was. She's excited, you know. To, experience uh, what's the life's got ahead of her because she's still got a lot of you know she's only 47 uh, you know I love Beretta I gotta tell you I thought he was like the coolest guy you know and I'm, I'm a little older so I'm probably dating myself but uh, I just loved his coolness and toughness but then he kind of had a heart as well and uh, but I'm, I've been an action movie and fan for, for years and I think what's great about our show is that you know we have a, a, a great detective show but we have a humor in it and I think that's missing in a lot of TV shows now. Everything's so intense and dark, and, and I think that's why you know our show has kind of caught on, actually. I mean, I loved Betty Thomas on Hill Street Blues. Hard to beat. She was pretty sassy, and that was pretty ahead of its time for girls on TV.